thousands of them, all around, hiding. You have walked past them dozens of times. In the parks, in the cemeteries, in wooded areas all around. They're lurking, waiting, waiting for you. And when you run across one, you'll never forget. They're hidden, they're waiting, they're geocaches. Geocaching is a high-tech game of hide-and-seek created by Rice graduate Dave Ulmer, which is sweeping the world. Geocachers use a GPS receiver in their attempt to find the hidden cache. Not cache as in money, but rather cache as in a hidden container. Caches can vary from something as small as a 35 millimeter film canister to the size of an ammunition box or even larger. They are in public areas and anyone can get to them if they know what they're doing. Here is how it works. The geocachers log into the geocaching website and find the latitude and longitude of a cache in their area. From there, they enter the coordinates into the GPS receiver and head to the cache. The GPS receiver will lead them within 20 feet of the hidden treasure, where the search begins. Keep in mind that the cache must be placed in a public place like a park, cemetery, or roadside. The geocaching website provides them with clues and hints that will help them uncover the treasure. You will be surprised at the different shapes and sizes of the cache containers and the clever ways that they can be hidden. When a cache is found, sign the logbook if one is included. If there are trade items available, take one but replace it with something of similar value. Since geocaching is a family activity, be sure the items left are suitable for all ages. When finished, replace the cache just as it was found. Keep an eye out for muggles. Like Harry Potter's non-magical people, muggles are those who don't know about geocaching. Always protect the cache from being muggled. After returning from the adventure, remember to revisit the geocaching website and log the visit. That's geocaching in a nutshell. The best way to understand the concept is to go out and give it a try. You might be surprised at how much fun it can be. Sound fun? It is. And it's something the whole family can enjoy. It doesn't matter if you're 5 or 95. Some people call it a game, others call it a sport. For some, it's an obsession. Whatever you call it, it's a blast. Game on. <laughs>